Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we are going to go over generics. Generics is a way of typing your classes without knowing what the type is at the time until you actually instantiate it. We had an example of this previously, if you can remember. So if, if we said something like list um, A equals, let's just do it this way, right? The contents of A is basically could be anything, right? So we could say it is dynamic, and that would be proper, right? So it, this could be true, it could be one, it could be high, right? It could be any of these things. But if we wanted to put a something inside of here, say, no, 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 I don't want this to happen. I want it to be only a set of integers, okay? Then it would give me an error automatically. I, I think in previous video, the previous video we talked about this, um, the error wasn't actually there, but it is showing up in the newer version of the Dart editor. So it's going to have to be 0, 1, 4, and the error goes away. Okay, And we called this parameterized, parameterized type, right? So. This is not new, I hope. So how do we actually do this? So notice that list A, we don't know what this is until you actually create an instance of it. So a list automatically does not tell you what type it is. Int does, right? Um, string does. It says string A, what follows is going to be a string. List is dynamic. So it could be anything unless you specifically have a parameterized type in front of it. So generics is the same concept here. Let's have an example right here. Class cake. And I have frosting and the type of cake. So frosting, I'm going to say, um, I, I might want you to say frosting is true or false, because I might not have frosting. But at other times, I might want you to say that frosting is green or purple or whatever, or it's thick. So it could be either a string or it could be a bool, right? Not both, just one or the other. And, and then type, I could say um, a round cake. So that would be a string. Um, I, I could say it's a, let's just say, for example, I have a list. And number one cake says it's a wedding cake. The number two cake on the recipe, on the menu, would be a round cake. Number three would be a chocolate fudge sundae cake or something like that. So this could actually be an int, right? Depending on if I had a menu and I would just match it up with the actual integer, the number of the product itself. So if, if I did this, I, I could... So I don't necessarily know what these types are until I actually instantiate it, right? So I, if I say, okay, um, cake, my ca cake, equals new cake, I could say, what's going on here? Oh, I, I need two arguments. Um, let's just say, um, actually, I'm going to take this away. So I'm going to have a default constructor. So I'll say um, my cake dot frosting equals like a blue frosting and my cake dot type equals 1. And that, that all works out well. But what, again, what if I don't want to use dynamic typing? What if I want to use static typing? Again, just I, I want the system to check these things for me so it, I don't make any mistakes as best as possible. So I want this to be statically typed. But in, in this instance of the cake, I want it to be blue. But what if I, I say in another instance, cake, your cake equals new cake. And in um, your cake dot frosting equals false. So I, your cake doesn't have frosting in it because you didn't pay for it or something. I, I, I don't know, but but um, your, your cake doesn't actually have frosting, so that's actually a bool more than anything else. 
but so I could use var and that'll work but again I don't want dynamic type typing I want static typing so what I would say here is the generic type is here most of the time the generic type is a T I've seen E you could put any letter there but T is is most common for, common for the one type and then you would put it here and here so what I'm basically saying is I don't know what this type is right now but once you instantiate it once you create an object out of it that type will be right inside of here so if we go here we'll say instead of my cake equals new cake we'll have to say what is the type and right here I'll say string all right so then it'll check this for me and if I put five right here the computer is gonna give me a okay well it should have given me an error um, let's just see what happens if I run it okay at least it, it gives me an error when I try to run it okay it's maybe there's a little bug right here um, type error int is not subtype of string all right so we're, we're noticing that it says the cake has to be a string so this is the generic type I'm sorry this is the generic type once you instantiate it this is the parameterized type we already knew that and so when you try to actually give it a value it has to be um, consistent with this value right here so it would be um, frosting uh, I said blue right and my cake dot type equals one you can't do that so it would be either one or you could just say type equals uh, round okay and in your cake the cake will be um, into no no bool bool so your cake dot frosting equals false so that actually works so if I run it, it should work perfectly fine yeah it works perfectly fine okay so we can do a little bit of, of flexibility right here so what if there's a T I could also put a E right inside of here so let's just say frosting is T and the the type is an E again generic types I don't know what the these types actually are but when I know when once I instantiate it then I'll figure it out so this one I want string and string this one I want bool and you know frosting um, int and bool so this frosting I want it to be actually number four on the list of frostings that I have number four and then your cake dot type is going to equal so that's a bool it's going to be true it's actually true it's going to be a type um, okay again it, that doesn't make any sense but I think this is the concept generics you have no idea what this type is intentionally until you instantiate it but once you instantiate it this becomes the parameterized type you use these types in order to tell you what the actual type will be so the editor will help you along the way um, and you won't have to use dynamic typing if you don't want to um, just for the record generics is a little bit more advanced and you may not use them for a long time until you get really good and it really advanced in programming but this is just the concept of it because I know this word is thrown around a lot and if you don't understand what it means you'll be missing out well you won't really be missing out but now that you understand what it means you don't necessarily have to use it all the time play around with it if you can but if you don't find a great use for it at this stage in the game that's perfectly understandable thanks a lot